Hi, this is Miran Sundaram. Here I am going to tell about Aadhaar Enable Secure Travel Identity. Nowadays, most of the public and private sector agencies require a proof for uh, providing their uh, service to their customer. Uh, for example, creating a new uh, bank account and uh, for pension and during travels we, uh, uh, while in uh, train travel or in plane travel, they require a proof for uh, providing the service. For that, uh, UIDI, that is uh, Unique Unique Identification Authority of India. It is a uh, agency of Indian government. Uh, Indian government uh, that is responsible for other other project. Uh, other is used to identify and authenticate the uh, uh, individual person uh, in the India. Uh, in the uh, authentication, uh, other uses uh, the any application that uses identification uh, identify and authentication then the application is called uh, other enabled uh, application. Uh, here we use uh, two methods for identify. Uh, first one is demographic and second one is biometric. Uh, in demographic uh, it contains the person name, address, date of birth, phone number, like that. Uh, Geomagnetic means uh, identify the person uh, by uh, by their own own parts like uh, fingerprint, iris, face recognition, and voice. Uh, in other places, uh, we use uh, two uh, two steps. First one is identity creation, and uh, next one is identity authentication. First, identity creation. Identity creation means uh, mechanism used for uh, identify a person, uh, uh, identify individual person. Uh, that may be a manual or it may be a uh, electrical device. Yeah. Uh, there are uh, three types of identity in other uh, project. First one is uh, uh, what are the uh, uh, what are the information user knows. Uh, the information sir, user ID. That is username, password, pin number. That is one time password. It will be changed for each and every transaction. Uh, then security question. This security question is used for uh, recover the password. If a uh, 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 person uh, forgot their password, means uh, using security question, uh, they can recover the password. Then uh, the what are the information user has? Uh, what are the things user has? Uh, uh, PAN card, ration card, passport, voter ID. These are things uh, user has. Then the, what the user is uh, in this user uh, user has its own. Uh, every person has uh, different uh, fingerprint. And iris, face, and voice. These are the things. Uh, what are the use of things? Then coming to identity, identity authentication. Uh, it is a. Uh, uh, it will compare the store detail with uh, current detail. Current detail given by the person. Uh, it may be a mechanical or it may be electrical. Uh, device are uh, both mixed. It. Then coming to other uses. Uh, first one is establish preference and proof of the delivery. That is uh, uh, confirming benefits like uh, uh, like entry, uh, entry in uh, ration cards uh, and bank account and uh, EB bill. Uh, these are the uh, use of, and admin side means uh, uh, using this uh, we can easily ta uh, ta uh, students and staff uh, uh, who are uh, uh, employed in the government sector then financial transaction uh, using this we can uh, we can perform a uh, bank transaction also uh, then establish user uh, known your customer details uh, that is uh, uh, each and every bank sector each and every sector uh, known their customer details then uh, coming to what are the things what other will do and will not do uh, in other uh, the information of the person will will not be stored in smart card, uh, it will be stored in uh, CIDR. CIDR stands for Central uh, Identity Data Repository. Uh, so that uh, anyone can't get the data from the CIDR. Uh, if you want to know the person is uh, 
the proof is original or not it will provide only yes or no answer only it will uh, not give uh, the personal information like uh, name address uh, like that and uh, this diagram shows uh, compound structure of the other uh, CIDR is uh, controlled by its uh, UIDA, UIDA unique identification authority and here uh, CIDR stands for uh, central identity data repository it will manage the service provider like uh, it will manage the service provider uh, then AUA. AUA stands for Authentication User Agency. If uh, any organization uh, or application uh, want to do other means, uh, they, uh, they need to register in uh, CADR. The registered uh, organization or application is called as uh, AUA. Uh, then uh, there are many authentication devices used for uh, using in this uh, authentication device like fingerprint scanner, iris scanner, voice recognition. These are things uh, used in authentication device. Then coming to AS, uh, ASA, uh, ASA, uh, yeah, ASA stands for. Authentication Service Agency. Uh, it will provide a secure communication between CADR and AEA. Uh, it is act as a middleware uh, yeah, between the CADR and AEA. Uh, it may be a hardware or may be a software also. Uh, this is the diagram shows. Uh, 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 this is the diagram for uh, AAC architecture. Uh, in this AEA is connected with the. Uh, CDA through ASA server. Uh, in the ASA server contains uh, uh, in the ASA server support uh, synchronous and asynchronous transmission. Synchronous transmission means data will send in a continuous uh, way. Asynchronous transmission means uh, data will not send in continuous. Uh, in this uh, uh, synchronous transmission is supported by message handler and the asynchronous uh, transmission is supported by uh, HTTP handler. HTTP handler is used to uh, manage the request and request, uh, response from the web, web pages. Then uh, message handler is used to manage the request and response from the message. The ASA provide uh, uh, support. Uh, uh, multiple protocol. Multiple farmers and automatic transform it may, uh, it may provide many services like uh, validation, auditing, and reporting. This is a service provided by the ASA, uh, and this is the diagram shows how the other will look. If a other holder will uh, want to know the detail uh, whether he is uh, uh, in uh, other or not, uh, then other will send an authentication request to the authentication device or any uh, 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 persons. Uh, then, it will, uh, then the request will send to the AEA by using AEA's uh, communication protocol. Uh, from that AEA, it will send to the CADR through the ASA. Uh, ASA uh, using uh, ASA here ASA is act as a middleware. Uh, after receiving the CADR, it will send a yes or no, yes or no uh, response to ASA. Then the yes or, uh, yes or no response to uh, send to the AEA. Uh, uh, from that, uh, the other order get the information uh, uh, like uh, the uh, person is uh, uh, present or not. Um, and uh, this is the idea of uh, how the uh, bank transaction will be performed in the other budget. Um, in this, uh, if you want to perform a transaction in a bank, uh, so first, uh, CAD, uh, CADR will provide a one-time password to user and uh, receiving bank. Using that one-time password, uh, we can log in our account. 
the media live you know, account by using web server. Uh, web server is like a computer, uh, it delivers web contents, uh, we deliver the contents like web pages. Uh, using that web server, we can connect it to the using bank server. Uh, then we send a request, uh, request for transaction. Uh, after tra the, then the transaction is routed to uh, routed to the issuing bank. Here the transaction will perform. Uh, then the transaction is completed means then the message will be sent to the user. Home uh, take process means each and uh, 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 transaction the password will be changed for each and every transaction. Then coming to points. Here we use uh, uh, Java server for uh, creating this project. Uh, first we want to establish a connection. Uh, for that, uh, we want to uh, uh, we want to access the uh, database means uh, uh, we need to implement uh, uh, implement a driver. Driver is used for uh, uh, the creating connection between the, the database and application. Uh, this the uh, the the coding is last track for me. Standard JDBC dot JDBC dot JDBC PolyBC This is the coding used for loading the database. And then we want to after uh, implement the, the database data, we want to connect the um, connect the database for that uh, this code will be used. Uh, we want to create the object for for the driver manager. Uh, then using that uh, object, we execute a command. Uh, whatever the command we execute in the project, we, are, we can use this uh, object for. Then after, perform, uh, after per performing the uh, uh, execute query, uh, the connection must be closed for that. Answer that close is the uh, command for close the connection. Then coming to uh, conclusion, uh, the main advantage of my part, uh, this project is uh, uh, duplication may, uh, can be avoided uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, all things are covered in a single card. Thank you.